welcome back. My name is OmniFlash and I will be your guide to Perfect World Mobile. But first, I am giving away a $25 iTunes or Google Play gift card. And to enter, you have to like the video, subscribe, click the notification bell so you'll be notified when the next guide is, is released, and comment below. In this guide, I will tell you everything you need to know about Wizards so that you can decide if you want to be a wizard in Perfect World Mobile. If you enjoy doing tons of damage, wide area nukes from long distances, the wizard might actually be just for you. The wizard class is not gender locked. You can be male or female. Your basic attack is called the Pyrogram. You basically throw fireballs in the shape of fire charms. Now Gush. Gush is a single target powerful attack that shoots a powerful beam of water underneath the target dealing magic damage and also slowing the target by 40% for 6 seconds. Next up, we have the Will of the Phoenix, also known as Fire Will. You summon the mighty, mighty Phoenix that flies across and hits all enemies in a 15 meter straight line in front of you, dealing magic damage and knocking them back by 3 meters. The next skill is the skill Hailstorm. You summon a mighty blizzard, raining ice upon your enemies within a 3 meter radius. There will be 5 waves of ice flying down on your targets. Anyone caught in the hailstorm will be slowed by 50% for 2 seconds. The next skill is Glacial Snare. You summon five arrows that forms into a glacial spike that targets your enemy dealing magic damage and causing it to be slowed by 60% for 3 seconds. Shrink is your mobility skill, also known as spatial shrink, causing you to teleport across the battlefield by 10 meters. Also. Targets within 5 meters will be rooted for 1.5 seconds. This way, targets cannot even chase you when you teleport away. It is a great escape for PvP. Also, you can dodge boss attacks. Next up is Hill Siege, also known as Mountain Seas. You summon a massive mountain that falls down upon your enemies dealing massive amounts of magic damage. Also enemies hit are stunned for 3 seconds. Next skill is Dragon's Breath. Dragon's Breath you have to actually stand still and actually channel. You will be channeling Dragon's Breath which is you channel a fire aura that emanates from your body for 4 meters. You are you stand in the center and 4 meters away from your body will be the circle of fire. Dragon's Breath does deal massive amounts of damage. However, you are completely open to attacks as you cannot move while channeling Dragon's Breath. Chi Burst is the first of your three chi skills, also called spark skills, but it takes one bar of chi in order to activate. So it's like a limit break skill that makes you invulnerable for one second and also increases your magic attack. Force of Will, also known as Will Force. The Force of Will skill is it causes an invisible explosion on your enemies to silence your enemies for two seconds slows them by 30 percent for six seconds and also gives yourself a barrier of stone for 30 minutes 20 percent physical defense increase 
Blade Furry, also known as Blade Tempest, is your second chi skill or spark skill. It takes two bars of chi and does massive damage. You have to gain two bars of chi though. This right here is a Blade Tempest. You summon what looks like a meteor storm. It's actually really, really cool. Blade Fury dealing great magic damage to targets within a 6.5 meter area, throwing countless blades and flames. The next skill is Heart Sutra. Heart Sutra helps you regain 10% of mana. Also, your next skill within 10 seconds has no cast time. Instantly cast a huge mountain of destruction or any other skill that you have upon your enemies. Ice Dragon is your third and remaining Chi skill or spark skill. You summon an ice dragon that soars into the air before diving down at the enemy, dealing great amounts of damage, also slowing them by 60% for 6 seconds. Now those are your basic skills. After level 69, you have a choice to make. You should either become a sage of the heavens or a demon of the underworld. You will have two paths, you must choose one. The two paths have different skills. They actually alter your skills and has causing you to deal more consistent damage as a sage or causing you to deal more burst damage as a demon. A sage wizard seeks to maintain a high attack power over the long battle. Their spells allow them to deal high amounts of damage over a long period of time. A Sage Wizard is basically an AD carry. You will be more reliant on your basic attack to deal sustained damage over time. A Demon Wizard does massive bursts of magic damage and also has crowd control skills. So let's start with Sages. Divine Chi Burst replaces Chi Burst, increases your HP by 10%, increases magic attack by 20%, and you are invincible for 2 seconds. Manifest Virtue lowers the cooldown of your major skills. Glacial Snare, Hellstorm, Mountain Seas, and Will of Phoenix. Will Spring Quaff increases magic damage done by 10% and the range by 3 meters. Limit Break increases your max HP by 5%. Nothing special there. Pitfall makes the Force of Will skill also have a movement speed decrease by 40% for 1 second. Ifrit's Breath increases the damage of Dragon's Breath. Glacial Burst increases the damage of Glacial Snare and also makes it into an AoE. Undine Strike turns Force of Will into an Area Effect attack, plus decreases the magic defense of the main target. Mountains increases damage of Mountain Seas, also decreases the cooldown of Mountain Seas depending on how many targets are hit. Crown of Flame gives your basic attack an ability to burn targets, dealing magic damage over time. Divine Pyrogram increases your basic attack's damage by 1%. Elemental Shell causes your Distant Strength skill to give you a magic defense buff. 
It increases your magic defense by 1000% for almost half a second, making your teleport skill turn into a magic defense skill. Pyro Shell. It replaces the stone barrier with a fire shell. It keeps stone barrier's effect of 20% physical damage uh, reduction, but also increases magic defense. Frostbite makes your dragon skill, your dragon strike skill, deal more magic damage. Will of the Red Lotus adds burning effect to your Will of the Phoenix, causing damage of fire damage over time. Blazing Blades enhances your Blades Tempest skill, which also adds burning damage to your Blade Fury Blade Tempest skill, thus causing burning damage over time. Next up, I will talk about the Demon Skills. Demonic Chi Burst allows you to uh, regain 10% HP, increase magic attack and crit rate, and also you become invincible for 2 seconds. Glacial Phoenix turns your Phoenix into an Ice Bird, which freezes your enemies by 1.5 seconds instead of knocking back. Focus is perhaps Demon's class defining skill. It makes Heart Sutra enhance three, the next three skills to have no cast time. This allows a Demon to burst down their enemies in seconds. Blizzard increases the damage of Hailstorm. Elemental Invocation. It deals more damage for force of will and decreases your enemy's mana and chi. Glacial Strike increases the damage that Hailstorm does to frozen enemies. So you want to first freeze your enemies before using Hailstorm. Icicle makes Gush, the water burst, to have a 5% chance of freezing your enemy. Divine Move buffs your Spatial Shrink skill to allow you to actually gain speed when teleporting and prevents others from slowing you down. Iceberg turns that mountain into a giant iceberg that destroys your enemies. Chill to the Bone turns your Glacial Snare to have a potential effect of freezing your enemies. Leviathan's Breath turns your Dragon's Breath into an Ice Dragon's Breath. Anyone caught within your Ice Dragon's Breath also has the possibility of being frozen. If they stay in your Leviathan's Breath for more than 3 seconds, they will be frozen for 2 seconds. Stunning Blades gives your Blade Fury Blade Tempest skill the ability to stun your enemies. This is great for PvP. Frostworm causes your Black Ice Dragon Strike to be able to freeze your main enemy. Glacial Embrace causes your Stone Barrier to also have an Ice Barrier, giving in addition to the 20% physical defense, also increases magical defense. Icebound Fortitude, giving you the ability to revive from the brink of death. It freezes you into an ice barrier for half a second, 
after you take fatal damage. Then blocks all incoming damage and recovers your HP by 5%. This effect can only happen every 6 minutes. This gives you the ability to block damage, revive, and hopefully escape. Regroup and come back to defeat your enemies. Alright, right now I would like to summarize the differences between a Sage Wizard and a Demon Wizard. A Sage Wizard is more of a PvE Wizard. It allows you to deal more damage. It turns most of your skills into wide area effect skills. A Demon Wizard takes all your skills and basically turns them into freezing crowd control skills. It is great for 1v1 PvP. The reason I say that Demon Wizards are more PvP focused is because I doubt that these freezing skills will allow you to freeze a boss in like a raid. So uh, I appreciate everybody for watching. Please comment below and tell me what you think. Should you be a Sage Wizard or a Demon Wizard? I'm leaning towards Demon Wizard because I like to PvP. So like this video, subscribe, and the next guide will be coming up soon. Thank you and have a great day.